Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about Sidekick library. So you must have two questions at this point. What is Sidekick library and why do I need that? So before answer to these questions, let's understand a scenario. You are a content author and you create content for AEM sites. Now you are being asked to create content for edge delivery services. So to create content for edge delivery services, you need to understand blocks and how to author those. So now you have to go through all the documentation about blocks to understand the functionality and authoring process. But edge delivery, this sidekick library accelerate the process of content creation or authoring by providing the sample content of each and every block. So answer to your first question, what is Sidekick library? Sidekick library is a UI driven consoles or tooling where all the blocks are available with different variation and with sample content. Why do you need that? It, it actually accelerate your process. Your content author do not need to go all the documentation. They don't need to read all the documentation because the content block authoring with content is available in one console from where you can copy block with sample content and add to your document. So Sidekick library as UI driven consoles where all the blocks are available as I already explained and your edge delivery services developer create this functionality. Okay. Now you must remember whatever the uh, functionality we added to sidekick while customization through few few tutorials through past tutorials that that customization was done through plugins each and every functionality each and every button we added that was a plugin and those plugins were already written we only configured those plugins except the last tutorial where we added our very simple own consoles so here also it's the same we have a block plugin this sidekick library would be configured through block plugin this plugin is already written we only use that okay this can be an interview question so remember this sidekick library use block plugin so configure sidekick library has two steps one is you have to add some configuration in your GitHub repo, means you have to add configuration in your file. Second, you have to create some folders and some file in your content repository, means either Google Drive or SharePoint. So let's understand first the code related changes. So you have to create a file library.html. You have to create this inside sidekick folder. You can create at any other location as well because we would be referring those, but I will make it consistent because I all, always create files related to sidekick inside sidekick folder or inside tool folder. And this is the standard way of doing it. Once you create this file, I'll give the content here, what you need to write in library.html and I also added a documentation link. Now you have to call this file in your config.json, means you have to create a action, a button to call this functionality. Second, in your content repository, create a file called library.dot either spreadsheet or Excel file inside tools.sidekick means create a folder called tools then sidekick inside that create this file now create a folder inside sidekick parallel to this file called blocks in this folder create one document for one block okay let's say you have five blocks so you have to create five document inside this with the name same as your block okay you can configure it but we will follow the standard process each, each document would contain different variations of that block, right? We'll see how to do that. Once you create those documents, you have to refer each and every document in the library file, which you created in the first step, right? You have to do that. Once you are done, your sidekick library is ready, but you have to understand here as part of this tutorial, we'll also see how to 
add different variations and how to add metadata why do you need metadata now let let's jump into demo and see how it works so if you see i created a file called library.html and the content is available whatever i wrote here that is out of the box coming from adobe documentation okay this is the section where you can configure as per your need means if you need to add a different viewpoints more a custom viewpoints you can add it here and uh, here and inside this if you see config.json you have to add a section in your plugin section so i added id library and i gave the in url i gave this path relative path to uh, the file library.html you see here right so give a path here in url that's done the code level these are the only changes now let's understand what are the changes you need in content repository so in inside your folder create a folder called tools that should be at the root okay my root folder is edg eds inside that i created a tools inside that i created sidekick and here i created a library file okay library with name spreadsheet with name library because i'm using google drive now in parallel to that i created a block folder again this is all as per your need you can create a folder with different name at other location it's all about configuration but i'm following the process standard process given by adobe now inside this you have to create one document for each block let's say for example i have a carousel I created document for carousel and I added author the carousel here how carousel is being authored you would see here carousel one and I added carousel twice right twice with different different configurations in those carousels I added a line here now you would understand if you remember these become sections so to create sections we added this separator either three hyphens or a horizontal line so now you would see there are two sections here in this document one is above a bottom above has if you see one two three four five five slides and this one has only one row right slides why i'm saying because those each row would be available as a slide in carousel now so you would see there are two variants available this variant and this variant right because those are in different sections each section is treated as one variant of that block okay same way you can create all other documents here one document for one block okay now let's come back here and see the library file inside library create two columns name and path name should be the name of your block path should be the path of your document relate in your google drive or content repository if you see here it's relative to your root folder tool sidekick blocks accordion so for this if you see here come here uh, let me come here block it will start from here tools sidekick blocks and then accordion so this line would refer this accordion document you have to publish all the documents and you have to move the code to your main repo means your github repo so now i have pushed the code changes and publish all the documents and all the files now what you would see here let me open a doc so if i open you would see a additional button here block library which is coming from here right i added this right what happened here okay now when you click on this you would see on left panel you will see all the doc all the blocks means you added uh, six document here uh, in our library one document for each block let's understand the carousel here because i explained carousel so when you open this you would see two entries here one this and this right so what you would see here here you would see five slides one two three four and second 
has only one slide so each section because we added two sections there so there are two entries available means there are two variants now your content author can simply copy let me copy this so what happened let me move this up okay just copy here copy it's been copied and paste here okay now the content is available right all the content of block with sample content is available now your content author do not need to go through all the documentation one advantage here is let me clear this up first let me clear okay now go here and go to the second slide you would see here you can run time modify this content let's say test content right and copy so now when you use this you would have a test content here you would see this one so and it here it would not change once you refresh this you would have old content you see here old content right so at the runtime at the while copy you can update your content author could update your existing means your required content as well now you should have one more questions here right i have two variants of any block but if you name c it sees carousel carousel how a new person would understand what this variant is like there must be some identifier let's say it has a variant which contain five slides each this is variant contain only one slide so there should be something right we achieve this by default first why this carousel is coming by default uh, let me open this let me open to carousel by default whatever the name of your block that would be available so if you add any additional class inside bracket that would be available right but i need to customize the name means title the description and any other functionality for this section right let's say i want to give a different name to both sections both variants that i can done that i can do through library metadata so now we'll understand what is the library metadata library metadata is a block of metadata metadata i have already explained where you can update the configurations like title description of this variant means this section there are two type of library metadata one is specific to your section another one is specific for your block in this tutorial i'll talk only about the specific to sections uh, means block specific metadata is also same for example if you want to update any common thing let's say you want a description is same for all the sections that you can add to the pay block level metadata right here means that is called default metadata if you want to have a specific value specific let's say title or description to a specific variant that you for that you can do through section specific metadata here okay let me add it to explain so you would see here i added a block called library metadata name is specific you should have a same name here i added name is equal to carousel five slides and description is equal to carousel with five slides same way for the different section uh, second section i added carousel one slide carousel with one slide as a description now let me publish that but before that let me show you here something okay uh, block library here right you would see their title is carousel and there's a no description so let me publish this so after publish you would see here carousel the title is means the name of that variant is carousel with five slides and you would see the description is also available same way carousel with one side and description is available so that way you can add more information to your specific variant here you can also see the viewport here tablet mobile and desktop these are default viewports comes with default library i did not add those if you need to add your own specific viewport you can add that 
through the library file. If you see here, these are configuration sections here. You can add your specific viewport. So they are a bunch of documentation available how you can do that. I'll leave that link in description. This is a very important topic for configure or set up your project means you should definitely have this functionality while creating project. Okay, so I hope you understood if you have any question add your comment. Thank you.